Hey guys, it's Melanie. So it's been a really long time since I have done a share the love video. I used to do these videos on my channel on a somewhat regular basis. I felt like I had a nice little series going. Um, so this share the love series that I did was basically just an opportunity for me to introduce you to different channels that I really personally love watching here on YouTube. Um, obviously the YouTube world universe really <laughs> is huge. Um, there is a never ending stream of content that you can consume. Some of it fantastic. Some of it, why is this here? <laughs> you know, like sometimes you start watching something thinking you're going to be interested in it and you're like, Oh, I'm losing brain cells. I have to stop. <laughs> so, um, I think it's nice when people share channels that they really enjoy and um, I, I like being able to give you guys different ideas for things to watch other than beauty content. So originally when I started this series it was mostly just to share the love with like fellow beauty YouTubers um, and then I started thinking well you know like should also maybe think about watching other things. <laughs> Expand your horizons, right? I am someone who loves to learn. If I could go back to college and just be able to like audit all the classes and not have to worry about the papers and the tests and all that stuff. Um, oh, and paying for it. <laughs> Woo, I paid off my college loans and let me, that was the best day of my life. They were, they were extensive anyway. Um, where was I going? If I could just audit classes and just go sit in on lectures, I would 100% do that. I love learning and there are quite a number of channels on YouTube that have just really great, um, solid information with like solid facts and, you know, lots of like different science channels and things. And I'm just fascinated by that stuff. So anyway, today I have quite the plethora of, um, content that I've enjoyed over the last few months. <laughs> I found some really funny series to watch that I think you guys might enjoy. And um, yeah, so let's get into it. So I will link all of these channels in the description box down below if you wanna go subscribe to any of these channels or watch some of the videos to see if you're interested. Um, yeah, do it. I mean, it's, uh, you know, obviously come back for the skincare and makeup, but you know, go and explore other things as well. So I'm gonna start with the first two channels are kind of like true crime related channels. So Craig and I for years, like a very long time, I feel like before this was popular, like as a thing, <laughs> cause I think now it's like a really popular thing. But Craig and I would love laying in bed at night and watching the Datelines um, when they would have like the murder mysteries on or we really love watching um, like Forensic Files, I think it's on A&E. It's one of those channels. Um, we love watching shows like that. Anything that has to do with crime and murder is just absolutely fascinating to me. Um, I when, when I was in college, my degree was in social work. So a lot of the classes that I took were centered around like psychology, sociology, the study of people, their behaviors, their brains, their environments you know, things that come up that will affect your life. Um, I was just fascinated by people's behaviors. I think sociology was probably my favorite. Um, all of my social classes love them. Some of my professors, some odd ducks, but um, loved, loved the study of people and why they do the things they do. And one of the things I've never been able to understand is what what makes a person decide that they want to commit either a crime or worse yet, a murder. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that go into that decision-making process and it just fascinates me like how some people justify this stuff. Um, so anyway, the channels that I recommend here on YouTube is, so the first one is just the True Crime Daily channel. They have just a ton of different uh, true crime stories and they're fairly brief. Um, and there's some reenactments. I, f I find them to be pretty like engaging in terms of, you know, I usually will watch the entire video through um, and usually give pretty good answers on why someone did something and, you know, kind of the background story and all that stuff. 
Um, so that's kind of just a good generic one. But then also there are have been lots of, this is like the new thing on YouTube, right? Like, do you remember a couple of years ago when drama channels were like, woo, everyone loves a good drama channel, right? Now I feel like everyone is starting a true crime channel. And um, so there are lots of people that do these true crime videos where they just share stories of either missing persons or murders or missing children, things like that. Um, the, lots of these types of channels that have these topics now, I've watched many, many, a lot of like the popular ones. And it, the one that I came across that I just connected with the most was Kendall Ray. I just find her overall style and her presentation of the information and the facts. And um, I like the fact that she kind of gives her opinion. Um, I just find the way that she does her videos to be very like relaxing and enjoyable and I watch every single one like the entire way through. Again, there were several people that I would watch that I would be like, nah, you're not really sucking me in here <laughs> with the way you're telling the story. So I, you know, halfway through I'd be like, Meh. and then honestly I would go over to Kendall Ray's channel and search if she had um, a video on the same topic and I would rather hear her talking about it. It just the way that she presents the information, the tone of her voice, just her overall personality, and the fact that she does donate a lot of money from the sale of merch on her channel to different organizations that, um, you know, help to end child trafficking and things like that. Um, just really, I, I admire that. And I love that she uses her platform for good. And that's something that I've always believed in doing is, if you have an opportunity to grow your channel where people do take the time to watch you and you can spread a good message or, you know, help um, bring some some time or energy or money or awareness to something like you should do that. So I, I really like that she does all of those things. Plus, she's just enjoyable to watch. So love that. OK, I've been obsessed with this. <laughs> This is gonna sound weird, but this professor from Central Washington University over in Ellensburg, and his name is Nick Zentner. I think I'm saying that right. He's a geology professor, and I originally came across one of his YouTube videos where he was talking about like the ice age floods in like the Pacific Northwest. Here's another fun fact. I am a total like geology nerd. I think <laughs> learning about volcanoes and rocks and the, the crust of the earth and, you know, like tectonic plates, like all of that stuff is just fascinating. I love learning about earthquakes. I do live in Oregon and we are due for a big one. So I love learning about earthquakes and things like that. Um, but Nick presents uh, the information in such a way that even like someone who was not a geology major or minor in college could totally understand what he's talking about. This man is an amazing teacher. Um, I wish <laughs> I wish that some of my sociology teachers <laughs> kind of had a little bit more of his style. Um, some of mine were pretty like, just here's information, you know, like, and weren't particularly engaging. But the information was good information, so I always took it in. But I think when a professor or a teacher can be engaging and interactive with the students, it's just, it makes learning so much fun and it just allows you to retain more of the information. So um, he has several different channels. The Central Washington University um, channel has a lot of his video series where I think he actually does presentations to like the Ellensburg community and people come and watch his different topics. So there's lots of different topics. Most of them honestly are centered around the geology of like the Pacific Northwest area, but he also talks just about uh, geology of um, the planet in general. So, you know, we'll talk about, you know, the supercontinents from back in the day and all that stuff. Um, so I just, I, I really find his videos super interesting. If you are a little bit of a geology nerd like me, check him out. He also has a couple of other channels. Um, there's the Huge Floods channel as well. Um, and if you want to see some great scenery and learn a little bit more about the Pacific Northwest, if you're thinking about moving here, um, <laughs> he has lots of different videos that are throughout Oregon and Washington, and they're just super fascinating. And just the way he presents information is fabulous. Highly, highly recommend. Um, again, I'll put most of the channels that I have seen him on. He's also done a TED Talk. 
Um, he's like worked with PBS and things like that. He's just super smart man, very knowledgeable. And if you like geology, hit him up. He's amazing. Um, he actually is uploading his um, some of his courses uh, that he teaches at the university on his YouTube channel now. So you can actually watch his lectures. If, I think he actually live streams them. So if you wanna watch a live stream, there you go. All right, a couple of other, now the this next two are like just uh, like for mind numbing entertainment. Um, if you have never seen the series Airline on A&E and then also the British version of it, you have to, it's hysterical, you guys. So with Airline, the US version, it was filmed in the early 2000s and it basically followed employees of Southwest Airlines and how they have to deal with the public um, working uh, at a ticket counter or, you know, when you're checking in bags or uh, stewardesses or, um, flat, sorry, flight attendants on the plane. Um, hysterical you guys just the behavior of people in public blows my mind sometimes like people are so ill behaved and it just it's like who raised you <laughs> who taught you you could say those things to other people you know like just comical like facepalm like just crazy cra if you like crazy passenger stuff you've got to watch airline and then if you want to watch the British version, I'm going to actually recommend it through Arthur TV. Um, he's this guy who basically summarizes the episodes. At, I think he's only like 19 or 20. He looks like a really young kid. <laughs> anyway, I love his British accent. He sounds like he's just super cute. Um, he is super cute. Like he's revealed himself on his channel now because he used to just talk from behind the camera basically. But um, anyway, super cute kid. And just he... Uh, the way that he provides commentary on the British version just cracks me up, like absolutely hysterical. And so I have watched every single video from the A&E version. I've watched every single video from the Arthur TV where he shares it. Um, can't recommend enough. If you're just looking to like giggle or just think, wow, at least I don't do that. <laughs> If that helps you feel a little bit better about yourself, there you go. All right, um, next is the channel Cheddar. I, these guys are great for just random informative videos on things like why cities are built on a grid, <laughs> um, what the different grids are, um, what the pros and cons are of different city grids, um, uh, how buildings are made, um, why houses were built this way in the 30s and built this way in the 1980s. Like, just random stuff. Like, super, super random content. But all of it is, like, kind of based around science and just learning something that you maybe didn't think that you needed to know. But once you know it, you're like, at some point, I'm going to pull this out in a conversation. It's going to be really useful. So, um, yeah, every single video that Cheddar puts out, I'm always like, ah, I would love to learn about asphalt. <laughs> so if you too are a random learner, check out Cheddar. And then my last two, I think I actually mentioned this during my last Share the Love, but I can't stop watching these videos. They're on the LMN, the Lifetime Movie Network YouTube channel. The, the Haunting of series and Celebrity Ghost Stories. Still, like every week. So on Tuesday, a new episode of the haunting of comes out and every Friday a new celebrity ghost stories comes out and I just wait all day for these to be released because they're so interesting and fascinating to watch. I don't, I think I believe in ghosts and I'm pretty sure I believe in things like aliens. Like the, the, they deal mostly with paranormal in terms of like ghosts, but there's also that part of me that is like super science based. That's like, I don't know that that's how it works, you know, but then also there are a lot of things that because of the limits of the human brain, we may not entirely understand, right? So I try not to close anything off entirely, but I do try to bait work um, off of uh, real like things that we do know to be true. <laughs> 
but I'm fascinated by ghost stories. And I've had a couple incidents myself in my life where I'm like, oh, I'm pretty sure that like I just experienced something. But then there's also the logical part of my brain that's like, ah, you could probably explain it away with something, right? But never know. Anyway, if you find ghost stuff interesting, I definitely recommend those. The celebrity ghost stories are interesting because like some of the people like that they have on, I, I just would never think that they would have like a ghost experience. Um, what was it? The, the lead singer of Motley Crue was Vince Neil. <laughs> he has been on there a couple times. Um, lots of different actors, um, just, and musicians and just very, very interesting. So I will put the LMN channel down below as well. Anyway, you guys, that's it for today. Um, I hope these suggestions were helpful and um, yeah, check out some of these other channels. Don't, ju don't just stick in the beauty world. There is much to explore outside of sunscreen and sulfur spot treatments from Dermot E. Testing that out right now. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo!